Yes, so um, the next question, is there a way to stop the lava flow from um, La Palma's still erupting volcano? The answer is uh, no. I'm sorry, <laughs> so I can give you a little bit more detail here, but um, if the volcano produces a lot of lava, if there, if there is a high mass eruption rate, if there is a 10 meter tall lava flow coming, there's very little we can do. There is attempts to stop lava in front of a certain building. If the lava is already slowing down and it's just a few meters from a church or so, then there may be something you can do. You can dig a ditch or you can bring in the fire brigade and cool the lava with water or something like that. Uh, but this is an exceptional situation. It worked um, in Iceland in 73 at the Heimei eruption and that got quite famous. People were putting water on the lava flow and it stopped. But let's be realistic. The lava flow was about to stop by itself. You can just halt the last few meters, if you will. And there was this case at Todoke Church. Todoke is a little village and it had this beautiful church built by the local people, voluntary uh, work that built the church. And they were very uh, proud of their church, but uh, the attempts to stop the lava flow were in vain. I was talking to a journalist uh, a few days before, he was fascinated by the attempt. People were digging ditches, trying to divert the lava flow. But I had to be realistic and point out that if the lava comes strong enough, the ditches will not, will not help. And indeed, two days later, the church fell under the pressure of lava. So uh, this is the thing. We have no means to stop them, uh, these, these processes or these forces of nature when they come strong enough. Only when they're already in a weakened state if the lava flow is about to run out, then we can slow it a little bit further. So there is something we can do, but our powers are rather limited. Mm -hmm.